guys in this video i will show you how you can fix epic games launcher error code as-3 so without further ado let's get started uh, first of all what you need to do here is to restart your computer and sometimes uh, for some people it fixed the problem so just go ahead go uh, shut down and restart your computer and try again and then you need to look if the problem persists or not and if the problem persists then you need to check epic games servers and to do so you need to go to status.epigames.com and then you need to look if the servers are down or not and if the servers are fully uh, operational uh, you're good to go the problem is not on their end so this means uh, problem hiding some uh, somewhere on your computer right so if the servers are working perfectly fine uh, you need to proceed to the, the ne next steps and if the servers are down you just need to wait for a bit to uh, be uh, the service be fixed right and then if the problem persists the another thing that you can do here is to turn off windows defender firewall is and to do so you just need to go to windows uh, defender firewall go turn windows defender firewall firewall on or off and just turn off the firewall and press ok and also if you're using vpn uh, you need to disable vpn as well so go to vpn settings make sure you're not connected to the vpn network right and then you need to look if the problem persists or not and if the problem persists uh, another thing that you can do here is to change your uh, pc dns settings and to do so on the bottom right corner you should see system tray uh not system tree uh, you will see system tray and on the system tray you will see network icon here then you need to press on network and internet settings then you need to go to and press on advanced network settings then on uh, as you can see here more adapter more network adapter options and then find your internet right click on it go to properties make sure internet protocol version 6 is disabled and then go to internet protocol version 4 and select use the following dns server addresses here and on preferred dns server you just need to write 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and on alternate dns server you just need to write 8.8.4.4 press apply okay and then you need to look if the problem persists or not and if the problem persists then another thing that you can do here is to flush your dns cache and uh, WinSock, do winsock reset and to do so you need to just uh, go on search and write cmd and command prompt uh, and then right click on it and run as administrator and here you need to write ip config slash flush dns and after doing so then you need to write nesh winsock reset right and when you do that then you need to restart your computer and then you need to look if the problem persists or not and if the problem persists then another thing that you can do here is to reset your network and then and again you need to go to the network and internet settings and uh, advanced network settings here and press on reset all network adapters to the factory settings if you're using wi-fi uh, make sure to have password next to you because you'll need to basically uh, log into your wi-fi again but if you're using ethernet cable basically you'll need to you don't need to do anything here just press reset now uh, restart your computer and the problem should be fixed right so that's pretty much it and if i help you out please press like button and subscribe for more take care bye